Hello, everybody. I am David Lawson. And welcome to my first Speaking Deacon show. This is the preseason. I just want to let you know that this is the first edition. I will be doing this every Saturday morning during Wake Saturday's games. But when I have the game during the week, it'll be, I'll, I'll post it. Uh, on a Wednesday, I'll do this show. I'll I'll usually pre-record this, and then I'll put it up, and I'll tell you about uh, Wake Forest football games, and I'll also tell you about the other games that are coming in the ACC league, new teams, Stanford, California, and SMU are added to this year's ACC so we got 17 teams, plus we got part-time Notre Dame. You want to count them as 18. But this is the first edition, uh, and uh, open day is coming really, really soon. It's got it's ticker taping down at the bottom. Uh, when is it going to be? About 35 days from now. I'm just pre-recorded. Uh, I'm pre-recording this. On Saturday, August, uh, Saturday, July the 27th at 9, 11 a.m. And you'll probably see this later on. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to talk about some things. Uh, first, opening day, August 29th, Thursday, 7 p.m. kickoff on the AC Network Extra. You can get it and you'll probably be able to get it somewhere. Wake Forest is looking to rebound from last year's miserable 4 and 8 record. We're going to have a new quarterback, new offensive line, some people change changes in the offensive line. Um, we don't know exactly who the quarterback is, but it's uh, Hank Bachemeyer, Michael Kearns, two freshmen, Jeremy Hedlinski. Uh, but it's open competition, so we won't know until probably when Wake Forest breaks the huddle against North Carolina a and and we'll see the quarterback. Uh, projected is Hank Bachemeyer since they brought him in, because they probably would like to save uh, Jeremy Helensky for next year. I don't know if they're going to redshirt him or not. And uh, and those are, those of you who are wondering uh, uh, when the Dave Carlson show, uh, when it's going to be, it'll be in August, but it hasn't been released yet. And so uh, so I can't put it out there right now. They're not putting it out there until it's released. And when it's released, uh, I will let you know the dates uh, when uh, – uh, of a winter David Cross show, but it will be at the playground. It will be back at the playground, the David Cross show, down in Clemens, North Carolina. But I, I can't tell you exactly when because they haven't released it yet. Um, last year was a heartbreaker for Wake Forest. I mean, it was just a total disaster, and uh, there was miscalculations, mistakes made, and Dave Cross said that he takes the blame for all that. Uh, but uh, and then we got fans that were calling for him, you know, to get fired for it for whatever reason. He did a terrific job. I don't know why they was doing that, but uh, but I don't think he's going to be on the hot seat, even if he has another losing season. We got Wake Forest is trying to rebound, but I don't think they'll have a winning. I don't think they'll have a losing season this year. I think they'll snap it and they'll go to a bowl game this year. That's my thinking. But the team is looking to rebound and earn your respect back. Because we know that the fans lost respect. They lost. They just was just so heartbreaking, the fans was. Because, you know, they didn't see this coming. Nobody seen this coming. You know, they, everybody thought that uh, Wake would go have a, another good year, even though they lost uh, – 
quarterback Sam Hartman. Uh, I mean, I thought they was going to at least have a winning season, uh, but everybody thought that. They didn't think that Wake was going to. A lot of the media thought that they were going to finish right around the middle of the pack, down, right down below. But they thought that Wake would go to a ball game. It wasn't nothing. And the uh, on, on paper, they said that, you know that they couldn't because they had a good quarterback last year when they brought in Mitch Griffiths and uh, and that and Michael Kearns got hurt. But this this players got hurt a lot last year too. That also depleted uh, uh, the depth chart. But uh, but the team is looking to rebound and earn their respect uh, after fans losing heart. Head coach Dave Clawson felt bad too. Okay, Dave Clawson felt bad too because he loves Wake Forest and he's going to be at Wake Forest for the foreseeable future. And there ain't nobody that nobody in Wake Forest is looking to say goodbye to Dave Clawson. Nobody. No matter what you hear the media says, no matter what you hear anybody says, Dave Glossman is here to stay until he decides to go. The coaches felt bad, too. The coaches felt bad. And so they're looking to make changes you know, so that we can have a chance to have another winning season, go back on track again. The team felt bad, too. They really felt bad. I mean, some of them even left. They've also tried to get him to stay. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. I mean, they, you know, and, you know, they got a right to leave if they want to leave. Um, they felt they felt you, and they hear you. And I just want you to know, all Deacon fans, come on out in 2024 and support the Deacon Deacons back to a winning record because we need all your Deacon fans back. We need you to recruit more fans to come on out and fill the stadium. Fill that stadium. We open it up with North Carolina a and Come on out and fill the stadium. We're going to have a lot of good games. we got Ole Miss coming. we got Virginia coming. We've got Clemson coming. Um, and, you know, you know, it just – and, and uh, uh, we got a good home slate. We're going to be on the road going to Stanford. Going to Connecticut. Um, we're going to uh, back to North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and give it another shot at beating the Tar Heels. Because, you know, North Carolina's going to be down too, as far as production wise. Uh, they only return to 37% of their production on both sides of the ball. But, you know, you never know about North Carolina. They always find a way to win. So. You know, because I wish we could find a way to do things like that. And so that's why, you know, that's why, you know, we need to come together. We need to, all the coaches and all the fans, we need to find a way to win these games that are close. Um, but I believe that we could do it. We have a lot of work to do, and including all the fans, and, and me included. We got to support Wake Forest. We got to make sure that they uh, hear us and, and let them know that we have we have their support and we're with you. Go get them, Dicks. Go get them, Dicks. Uh, like I said, we got the quarterbacks: Hank Bachmeyer, Michael Kern, Jeremy Helinski. Who knows? Someone else that would pop up, you know, and beat all of them up. But the open season. Against North Carolina a and and we'll all find out who the new quarterback is when they break the huddle against North Carolina a and So, this is my first edition of the Speaking Deacon show. This is the preseason version that lets you know that I'll be coming back. It'll probably be sometime in August. So stay tuned. Uh, and, and, uh, May God bless you. I hope to see you, help you watch the show. Because I'll be putting a lot of stuff, information stuff out there uh, for you to know. And uh, have a great day, great week. See you next time.